I'm an American citizen living in Bangladesh, and my subject is music. 38 years ago, <clears throat> when I first came to Bangladesh, I wanted to find a music school to visit, and the Bulbul Academy in Dhaka was recommended to me. So I went, and I visited in the office for a bit, and after leaving, and as I was heading out to the gate, three students stopped me, and sat me down because they had all the questions that students often have of a foreigner. And we were talking for a bit, and then one of them suddenly said, listen, I want to sing you a song. And he sang me, <clears throat> I think it was, And I was amazed. I wasn't amazed at his voice, which I'm sure was very good, and I wasn't amazed at the words, because at this point I couldn't speak Bengali and I didn't understand any of the words. I was amazed that a total stranger would sit me down on a park bench and start singing to me. This isn't done in America. <laughs> it's, I looked at it and I thought, this is a really strange country. I also thought to myself, I really like this country. When I started my Bangla study, in the course of it, we had to read a song by Rabindranath and a song by Nuzul Islam. And most of my fellow students found this very to be a great arduous chore, very difficult. But I just loved unpacking the meaning of this, these songs. The Rabindu Shongit that I looked at was Anundari Shagur Teke. Anunduri shagur teke eshe tseyad ban, gaad dhore shabaitan, re shabaitan. And this song resonated with me because I was brought up on the coast of New England, sailing sailboats, part of a family that was very much a part of the ocean. And so this was right up the kind of song that I enjoyed. And I wanted to share it with my parents. But of course, they couldn't speak Bengali, they couldn't read Bengali, the words would be meaningless, so I set out to translate it in English. I wanted to translate it and capture, of course, the meaning, but also the beauty of Rabindranath's rhyme and meter. So it took a much longer time to get that worked into the English. But then, I, once it was done, I wrote it out and I sent it in a very speedy means of communication that we had back in those days called the aerogram. It only took two weeks to arrive to my parents' house. Anunduri Shagur Teke, I wrote, from a jubilant sea, a flood or flowed, and pulling it o'er sat we all and hauled, how we hauled. Laden until it could barely float, so we filled our feeble boat, Laughing at death, through torrents we rode to a jubilant sea where floods overflow. After that, I started listening to cassette tapes. You don't know cassette tapes, do you? They, you listen to songs back then on cassette tapes. I had Robindu Shongit and Lalon Git and Nuzul Git. And when I, I would often, I would buy the texts, you know, Gita Bitan and Shonchita, so that I could follow the words of the songs. And the ones that I really enjoyed, I would sing a lot and, and pull out the text and follow it and learn the song. And the favorite ones I wanted to again share with my friends in the West. And so I started translating ones. And again, this time, because I loved the melodies as well so much, I wanted to translate the song so it would fit the melody that Tagore wrote, or Nuzul wrote. So, Jokon Purbe Namurapai Chinhui Bate became when on this path my footprints no longer fall. You see, there's a problem. When people in the West think of Bangladesh, they think of a country, a poor country, with arms outstretched, wanting foreign funds, full of famine and troubles and nobody understands the deep rich musical heritage of this country because they can't understand it in Bangla and in order to get this across it had to be translated into English the melodies well the melodies can also be written one of the great contributions that the Christian Church has made to the world 
is a system of notation. It's called staff notation, in which you write musical literature. You can write music. And it's used all over the world now. It's really an international language, this musical writing system. You could gather people from 20 different, 30 different, 100 different countries, all who couldn't speak to each other in their own language and be understood, but you put them in front of a musical score and they can all sit down and play the music together in perfect harmony. That's the way I thought, of course, that this rich, these rich songs can be heard overseas and performed overseas. So I set about to setting many of them to music and writing the notation and putting them to piano accompaniments and things like this. And also that's the purpose of the school, small school that I founded here in Rajshahi, is to teach this notation. <clears throat> but there was another problem as well. You see, Bengalis also have a perception of the West. And I would sometimes ask students what music they'd heard from the West. And they would say, well, we've heard of Michael Jackson and Lady Gaga, and we know some theme songs from various movies. But they've never heard the names Bach, Chopin, Stravinsky. They may have heard of Beethoven, and they may have even heard one of his songs. It's on your, your cell phones. It's a ring tune set to terrible, a terrible sound. Oh, if Beethoven heard that, he would die a second death. Once again, the misperception or the perception of the West is carried by the music that's come from it. So people have a perception of the West according to the teaching and according to the songs of Michael Jackson and these others that I've mentioned. They never realize the great and godly message, profoundly complex work found in Bach's St. Matthew Passion, or the a profound philosophical statement found in Beethoven's Ninth Symphony about the brotherhood of all mankind. These things don't reach Bangladesh. And yet they can reach through this musical notation. The school, Varendra Musical Arts Center, has been set up in order so that this exchange, a cultural exchange, can take place. And people can understand both what's going on in the West, maybe in a deeper, the deeper and the profound music. At the same time, though, I have great hope that the rich cultural heritage of Bangladesh and its music, the profound philosophies found in the songs of Rabindranath and others, and the astoundingly beautiful melodies can also be sent overseas, and a change in perception can take place about Bangladesh. My prayer has always been that each student who enters my little school will really sense that they're entering the kingdom of heaven the kingdom of God in the sense that God's wonderful job of making so many cultures with such deep cultural statements can be shared mutually under his grace. Thank you. <laughs>